Hello, welcome to this week's Video Insight. My name is Andreas Lundberg and I will today talk a bit about ResMed's results and also about you as an investor can be able to take advantage of how the market sometimes misinterprets new information. At Montgomery, we like ResMed and have a position in the company for the following reasons. Firstly, as obstructive sleep disorder, which ResMed manufactures products treating, is very strongly correlated with both obesity and age. The demographic trends are very positive for ResMed, with strongly growing obesity trends across the world and with baby boomers coming of age driving underlying demand. Secondly, the industry structure is attractive with only two major manufacturers of flow generators and three major manufacturers of masks, meaning that there are lower levels of competition than in many other industries. Thirdly and finally, ResMed has a very strong market position with market share of flow generators above 50% as they were the first to build a fully integrated ecosystem with software solutions on top of the actual hardware. ResMed reported its fourth quarter results on Wednesday last week. The result, results were very slightly ahead of expectations and contained no real surprises. Despite this, the shares fell by almost 6% on the day of the announcement as you can see from this chart. So, why would shares fall so much if the results were actually slightly better than anticipated? The reasons for the fall was that the outlook statement was a bit, dis bit disappointing. The market had been expecting the company to guide for increasing gross margins as growth of the higher margin mask products are set to recover following the introduction of a new model that has been compromised by supply constraints recently. ResMed instead guided to flat gross margins in FY18, which the, which the market took as negative. As an investor, it is of course disappointing to see such movements in stock uh, you have a position in. But the question is, what do you do about it? We decided to take a deep, deeper look and also listen clearly, particularly to the commentary that the management provided during the Q&A part of the conference call. There it became clear that this is a very conservative guidance and the main reason it is conservative is actually a very positive reason. The reasons cited were, firstly, the sales of flow generators, which have a lower gross margin, margin are actually quite a bit stronger than anticipated. Sales of flow generators are indeed also very profitable, although not at the same percentage points margins as masks, and stronger than expected sales are indeed a positive, even if it means that reporting margins in percentage terms does not increase. I rather take a larger bottom line profit and a larger install base than an increase in margins. Secondly, as Resmond performed most of its R&D and a lot of its admin in Australia, but only has 3% of its sales here, the recent strong Aussie dollar will impact them a bit towards the end of the year. This is of course in real impact, but it's still early in the year and much can happen over uh, the coming months before it actually starts to show up in the results. So, once we know this, what do we do? What we did was to take advantage of the share price weakness to increase our position and we bought a very decent number of shares on the day of the results at what we consider attractive prices. Now, after the result, the company normally goes on a roadshow and talks to a lot of different analysts and fund managers. Late, later last week, once the analysts started to publish their reports and the market started to figure out the reason behind the conservative guidance, the shares started to recover and have, as you can see from this chart, now almost reached the level they were before the result announcement and we have bought more shares for a cheap price in the meantime. So what is the lesson from this? The lessons lesson would be that the market does indeed sometimes act irrationally to new information which can present opportunities. The initial fall in investment share price was clearly a knee-jerk reaction and through looking at the reasoning behind the guidance we could take advantage of the temporary weakness in share price which should in the long run benefit our funds. Thanks for watching and don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter.